Good afternoon, Clea 360. Great to be here with you. Wasn't Edie amazing? I mean, as Charlie said, she really is the picture of sophistication and elegance. And had I known that when Clea called and they wanted to say, well, let's do something completely different. I know, let's call Scott, because he is not sophisticated and elegant at all. So here I am. I have the absolute pleasure, and actually I was really honored when Clea called me and said, Scott, we would like you to facilitate and to host a panel. And, and you can see the panelists up here. And there was eight panelists, and these are the titans of the industry. I mean, the, these are unbelievable people. They are incredibly intelligent, beautiful people. They are fabulous. And they said, and Scott, here's the thing, you only have 40 minutes in which to talk to all of them. Well, I know these folks, and, and it's going to be hard to get any kind of message out of each of them. So we came up with something a little bit different to mix it up here this afternoon. Instead of having them all come out at once, we really want to take the chance for each of you to fall in love with them one at a time. So we are going to call this speed dating. This is going to be speed dating across these eight wonderful people. And, and it's really going to be four minutes in the hot seat with Scott. So as a group here, although I'll be asking the questions, I want each of you to be thinking of falling in love with these folks and their products. But the key is we only have four minutes with each of these panelists. Each of our dates only get four minutes in which to wow us. So what will happen is when their four minutes are up, they're going to hear something like this. So subtle, yes, so subtle. What a great little hint. So we're gonna, st we're gonna start right away with the beautiful and amazing Lori Bond, who is the Director of Trade Sales and National Training for Royal Caribbean International. Hello, darling. Mm. Hello, Lori, have a seat. Thank you. Hi, everyone. All right, it's not too hot of a seat, is it? Feels pretty good no, so good, far. Good, good, good. Now, rumor is that you have just delivered an amazing new baby that is the biggest cruise ship in the world. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, the Harmony of the Seas, I'm sure you may have heard of her by now, is absolutely phenomenal. And we like to think of her, Scott, as this amazing combination of the Oasis class ships and the Quantum class ships, and thinking as if they might have had a love child. <laughs> and here we have the Harmony of the Seas. She's awesome, she's got firsts like the Abyss, which is a slide that goes from deck 16 all the way down to deck six. It is not a water slide, it's a traditional slide, and it will have you laughing and squealing with delight. I love the fact that our very first question, we're already talking about love child. So <laughs> that's, that's a great way to start here. I, I, I have to ask you, Royal Caribbean has kind of found a sweet spot with families. Why, why is that? You know, Royal Caribbean really does an amazing job with families. Things like the Abyss, things like our Flow Rider, our Rock Climbing Wall, of course our Zip Lines and our amazing kids programs where we have counselors that are four year educated and have three to five years working experience with families. That is the kind of quality of the folks that we have to take the children into the children's programs in addition to the great amenities and the great facilities and the beautiful suites and adjoining staterooms. This makes it perfect for families. That's great. Well, on another subject, you know, we work very hard, everyone in this room, to bring customers to Royal Caribbean. And Royal Caribbean delivers this great product, but what do you do to keep them loyal to both you and to all of us? Gosh, there is an amazing program, Scott, and hopefully you all know, show of hands, the next cruise program, it's amazing. I see a lot of hands going up. This is a program where you have your clients rebook their Royal Caribbean cruise while sailing. And the great news is, when they do that, you, the agent of record, of course, you get the commission, right? You get that booking. It goes right back to you. And the client, they get up to a $500 onboard credit that they can use right then and there or on that next cruise. But the key is you need to make sure and coach them that they're not cheating on you. They need to see that next cruise consultant and book that cruise, keeping them loyal to you and, of course, letting them have a win as well. Perfect. So you guys have won a lot of awards for sales and service in particular to the agency trade. 
Now, most likely that's because you are with Royal Caribbean, I would say. But beyond that, what are the other reasons that you think you've won those awards? Well, Scott, I think you're overstating things here. It really starts with Vicki Freed and the whole sales organization. You know, her belief in the agent community and the whole sales team is committed to serving you and supporting you. And not just with ourselves, but of course the sales tools, the wonderful promotions, and of course, as we know, the amazing ships. So it really is a win for us all. Your success, genuinely genuinely is, means our success. We can't do it without you. Perfect. All right, now I'm going to ask this one question, a little bit off subject, and I'm uh -oh. actually going to ask this to all of our dates here this afternoon. Scott, you're married. I know, but I, I got to learn this question. I got to learn. What is your favorite sales movie and why? That's, uh, that's good. It, it might be a little bit of a twist, but Jerry Maguire. And I'm going to tell you why. I started with Celebrity Cruises many, many years ago, and it was actually 20 years ago, to be exact, on the Celebrity Century cruise ship, Pierside in New York, we did the world premiere of Jerry Maguire. And of course, you all know the movie is about integrity, heart, drive, passion for something, and winning in the end, right? Jerry Maguire and Cuba Gooding Jr. But the Quan, if you all remember, the Quan was this belief in community, this belief in love and respect. And that was kind of what transcended them through those phases, ultimately getting Cuba Gooding Jr. his big prize contract in the end. So I would challenge you all to be ambassadors of Quan, just as they experienced in the movie. Well, Lori, you definitely had me at hello. So here we go. Ah, oh, there you go. How about that? I love it. Thanks, well everyone. Thanks, Thanks Scott. Scott. All right. Well done. I told you it's quick. So here we go. We are now going to bring out Mr. John Cherneski, who is the Vice President North American Sales at Princess Line and Cunard Line, the tallest man in travel today. How are you, buddy? Thank you, lad. Thank My you very much. My leave. Well, sir. Four minutes, wow. <laughs> yeah, four minutes, here you go. All right, so word is that Princess Cruise Lines is actually having their 50th anniversary right now. Why should all of us care? Why do you care? Why is this a big deal? Well, we just celebrated our 50th, and it's amazing that I actually have worked for the company for half of that time period, which is kind of staggering, almost half. Started when I was two years old, thank you for that. <laughs> um, and when any kind of anniversary, you, uh, you can fall into the trap of just celebrating yourself or how great you are, but we really, ser it served as a wake-up call for us to really ramp up what we were doing. So we made significant investments in everything from our food and beverage with our partnership with Curtis Stone and our Celebrity Chef partnership and his restaurants on board and as well as throughout the meals he serves throughout all of our ships and all of our dining rooms. Um, our entertainment with Stephen Schwartz, Oscar Tony Grammy award-winning composer of Wicked and other shows, he's doing four shows for us. Um, beds, we've developed the Princess Luxury Bed. We partnered with a, a sleep specialist to build a special bed just for us, which is getting rave reviews. So we made a lot of investment, and I think it's important to the uh, community here that, that when it comes to selling the product, you know we're not just l resting on our laurels, that we've made significant investment back in the product to keep it as relevant as possible. And it's not just about competing with other cruise lines. That's really not how we're going to succeed as a group. It's about getting those first to cruise and taking them away from what they were otherwise doing. So what are you doing? I mean, what, what's the... What's the process that you're going to use to help bring new people to this industry? Well, all of the things that I've talked about, and there's many more that I didn't get a chance to, our partnership with Discovery, it's a lot to do with partnerships and elevating the product so that it's interesting for somebody who may be a little uncertain about cruising. And on top of that, we're investing millions of dollars in TV ads and other forms of advertisement to inspire people to and, and selectively go after them through our digital marketing to really inspire them to take a cruise, to consider taking a cruise. That's the most important thing we're doing. Excellent. So why is Princess, or I should say, why are travel agents important to Princess? Well, they always have been, they always will be. You guys sell the vast majority of our product, and it's a complicated product, you know, with our destinations around the world, and it's not a, a three-day trip to um, Las Vegas. It's, it's complicated. There's a lot to do with it, and uh, we rely on you because it's about the hardest job you all have is qualifying that guest for the right brand, and we rely on you for that because if you... If you don't do the right matching, then we can lose that person forever. Um, so it's really important that you, you get that right and that you spend the time getting to know your client because without that connection, we, we don't have people on our ships. All right, so in terms of bringing people back yeah. and loyalty to both you and to the agency community, what's Princess doing to help us with that? Well, the first and foremost, we have to deliver on our products on board. And if we don't do that, then we've failed. And so we rely on our great or almost 28,000 shipboard crew to do the hard work that they do. They, they really do all the work. Um, 
and make the guests experience, have that great vacation experience, so that they want to come back, first and foremost, that they want to cruise with us again. Uh, we're doing a lot with our future cruise sales program, and hopefully you're all taking advantage of that, encouraging your clients to book their next cruise when they're already on board. At Princess, you not only get free money for doing that and onboard credits, but it's, uh, you can cancel within two years without any penalties. So it's kind of silly not to do that. Uh, we hope everybody's taking advantage of it. Um, and that's really uh, something that we're also then looking to personalize. So when the guests are on board and then when they come off the ship, that how we're communicating them ties it back to you as their agent so that they re they're reminded of not only the Princess brand, but also you as your brand. That's a great idea. All right, favorite sales movie and why? Other than Jaws? Other than Jaws, yes. <laughs> Jaws okay. made the sale, but I'm not sure the other people did. Um, that's a good question. Jerry Maguire's a good one. Um, I'll pick a non-salesy movie, and that's Elf with Will Ferrell. Love it. And if you think, it's not only a great movie, but he has the ultimate sales pitch to convince people that don't believe he's really an elf and don't believe he's their son or whatever to actually love him, and they do. It's a great movie. Perfect. Excellent. Great. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. The world's greatest coffee. I love Elf. I just love them. All right, well, let's go to our next, what do you call them, contestant? Our next date. Our next date here as we go through, and that is Eva. Eva, come on up. Yes, Eva yes, Jenner. Yeah. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Thank you. Have a sip. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, is it hot? Is the hot seat hot? The hot seat is very hot, I think, because two people are already sitting Oh, yeah, here. I got them sweating, so let's, <laughs> let's see how we go. All right, you have a new addition to the fleet. We've got a new baby. Yeah, well, talk about We're it. We're so Tell excited, the Koning Stam. So um, I hope all of you have seen at least renderings of her. She's gorgeous. We introduced her in April, and um, it's definitely the Holland America Line ship with some added twists. So we, we kept with what we're good at, mid-size, classics, um, cruising, you know, and we have just tweaked it a bit and added some new venues like Music Walk, which um, we have BB King's Blues Club, we have uh, Billboard on Board, and we also have uh, Lincoln Center Stage. So you have all these new wonderful things, and you guys we have do. gotten a lot of really good damn press on that, and it has been wonderful to see, but what about all the rest of the fleet? So are they gonna kind of suffer by comparison? What are you doing to make sure that doesn't happen? Absolutely not. So what we're doing, Scott, is we wanna make sure that your clients have, has a consistent experience whenever they're sailing on a Holland America Line ship. So for example, recently um, in December and in April, we have updated the Osterdam and the Eurodam, and we've added Music Walk, as well as some of the other touches that we've put onto the Koningsdam. So you will have um, a consistent feel throughout the ship, the, the fleet, sorry. So your experiences that you provide are extraordinary, but all these folks have a lot of choices, a lot of choices going through the speed dating here. Why Holland America? Why should they choose to work with Holland America? Because they love me. Well, they do love right? you. I love you. We all love you. <laughs> more. Give us more. Give us more. <laughs> well, um, you know, I, I think you'll hear this from every single one of us um, cruise line executives. There really is a cruise line for everyone. And we shouldn't be competing against each other. Um, we're really competing against land-based vacations. With Holland America Line, the client that you should be looking for is the globe-trotting learner. This is someone who likes to go and um, understand the destinations that they're, they're visiting. Um, we've partnered with Afar Magazine who's providing us third party content and, um, to our website and we will share that content with you. They're the experts that tell you about those destinations. Um, and, and we also wa we wanna make sure that your clients have enriching journeys. So the globe trotting learners Holland America Line goes to all seven seas. We sell everywhere. And uh, it's a mid-size classic sailing. So you mentioned destinations. What's the up and coming destinations for 17 and beyond? What do you see? Um, you know, we, we love Antarctica. And that's for both, you know, I also represent Seabourn. So I'm gonna put a plug in for Seabourn. Seabourn is luxury sailing in Antarctica. Amazing, amazing, amazing all included and you are going and doing, um, you're actually getting off the ship, going in Zodiacs and um, seeing the penguins up close and personal. Um, but that is a great place to go. I know it's on a lot of people's bucket lists. That's a great, great suggestion. 
All right, favorite movie about sales and why? Oh my gosh, okay. Um, I'm not gonna do Show Me the Money. <laughs> um, instead, I'm going to tell you that my favorite sales-related movie is Tommy Boy. Yes. <laughs> now, do you guys know that movie? It's with David Spade and Chris Farley. So Chris Farley is amazing. The reason I love that movie so much um, is because Chris Farley's character, he's so inexperienced but trying to save his father's um, warehouse. And so he learns how to be a, a salesperson by being real, wait, wait, <laughs> wait. By being really authentic. Don't play the music to get me <laughs> It's like me the off. Oscars, it's like the Oscars. Okay, so being really authentic <laughs> and understanding the client and having that relationship. And that's what all of you Bravo. do. Bravo, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, are these people great or what? Is this fun? All right, let's bring out our next date, and that is Mr. Ken Muscat, the Executive Vice President of the Sales and Guest Services of MSC Cruises. How are you doing? All right, buddy. How are you? Good. Sit down. All right. Yes, it is the hot so seat. Nobody has said my movie yet. No, good. Yes, you made it. Everybody back there scrambling, coming job, up with, oh, man. what's he going to say? All right, so let's talk a little bit about MSC. Yeah, Fact is, is you, so you've announced a $10 billion in dollars in investment. You've got 11 new ships. You've got a, a new destination, <laughs> private island experience. You used to be kind of thought of as the little guys in the industry, and that definitely is changing pretty dramatically. So what does that mean to everybody here? It's changing big time. I think people, uh, people used to think of us Whoops. as... Oops. Not on. I cannot believe you said Tommy Boy. Randall and myself both go. Try again. Rude. Try again. She took our movie. Hello. Oh, that seat's getting real hot now. Stop the timer. Stop the timer. Stop the timer. All right, are you on? Here, here. Talk into my chest, big guy. <laughs> here, there, you go, there you go. All right, Ken. Hello. Talk to us. Um, well, you guys can hear me anyway, can you? No. Oh, well, here we go. I think it was the other cruise line just said they're getting too big. Shut them off. There are too, too many ships. All right, here we go. Hello, hello. Reset the time. Take it away. Either one? Hello. Testing. There All you right. go. You're up. Okay. Okay, put that clock back to there four. There you go. All right. All right. So, so, Ken, you have $10 billion in advance. You don't need to repeat oh, it. You're okay. wasting right. my time. Okay. Um, <laughs> No, we are, we are super excited. MSC used to be thought of as sort of the best kept secret, and now we kind of consider ourselves like this major juggernaut, which is a just massive thing that is growing in the industry uh, and is coming out to get you. So we've got 12 ships currently in the fleet. We've got 11 brand new ships that are three classes that are on order, three different classes. A private island that's being built in the Bahamas called Ocean K. Hopefully you saw a lot of the great imagery outside. Uh, and that's opening at the end of 2017 in the Bahamas, like I said. Two ships being delivered next year and then all the rest through 2026. So wow. it's just huge. That'll bring us to 23 ships and, and we'll be a major, major player. And the exciting thing is that uh, we're definitely, definitely focused on growing big time in North America. So MSC has been a major player in Europe. We're the leader in Europe and South America and North America is next. So sounds like you maybe need a little help from these folks. Is yes. So just how important are travel agents to you? Travel agents are super, super important. I'll give you a number to remember. We currently, we currently sail 1.7 million guests a year. After we bring out all these new ships, we're gonna be sailing 5 million guests a year. So there's no way we can go from 1.7 to 5 without the help of travel partners. So travel partners are incredibly, incredibly important to us. And that's why, quite honestly, we've done things like promotions where we pay on NCFs. We, we do that on a promotional period. We've had incredible commission programs with 18% on groups and 25% in certain occasions on things. So you need to pay attention to what we're offering because we definitely want to incentivize you as travel partners because we need your help. So to make their lives more efficient, anything in the technology realm or anything like that you're doing to help them? Yeah, we're very proud that we just launched MSC Book. Uh, we launched it in the United States and it just recently launched in Canada. So actually, any of the Canadian agents, you get a 2% bonus commission for using MSC Book right now for a period of time. This is our new booking engine, completely brand new from scratch, 
four easy steps to book a cruise available for FIT and groups. Uh, and we've also completely overhauled our travel agent website. So msccruisesagent.com has all the great sales, marketing materials for you, webinars, toolkits, everything that you need. So both of those on the technology side have been, been a big deal for us. So what else do you offer that can help them bring new people into this industry? Obviously you're growing, you've got a lot of other growth in the industry. What else are you doing to help to get those new folks in? There's two really cool things that are very unique. One, I'm not sure how many people know, but I hope you do. We have a status match program. So if you have any clients that have a loyalty status with another brand, a hotel, land-based resort, we will match that if you put them on MSC for the first time. So this is huge for people that never thought about cruising before who might do land-based all the time and they've got a certain level and they say, look, I'm at top level with such and such brand. I don't want to switch. I don't want to try something else. We'll match it and make them our top level on MSC. Um, the, the other thing is we do very unique things like, thank you, we do very unique things like we launched a wellness, uh, wellness experience recently, and that's for people that um, before, during, and after the cruise go through a whole evaluation, consultation, meet with our trainers and our doctors on board, and we build them this entire wellness experience that includes exercise, it includes shore excursions, it includes um, dietary, and they can actually enjoy a cruise without the whole, uh, the whole idea of I'm just gonna gain a pound or two every single day by going to the buffet. So that's yet another great way to get people that never thought about a cruise to try cruising. Excellent, all right, gonna ask the final question. Favorite sales movie and why? So uh, much like the others, I'm, I'm choosing a, a movie that's not such a sales movie. Um, I chose The Wizard of Oz. And the reason I chose The Wizard of Oz is because the yellow brick road is the road to success and you need a heart and you need courage and you need a brain to sell cruises. Woohoo! <laughs> well said. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. All right, these great movies, aren't they? They really are. I think they, they're great analogies and things we can learn from. All right, we're going to now go to our next date, which is Adolfo Perez, the Vice President, Trade Sales and Marketing, Carnival Cruise Line. Hi, Hi buddy. How are you? You too. Have a set. Wow, this is hot. Oh, it should be nice and warmed up by now. Nice uh. and warmed up. All right, so you also have brought out a brand new ship. And I mean, have, uh, look at this baby weight, it's all gone now. Oh, that was amazing. You are so good at baby that. That delivery was so smooth. But tell us a little bit about it, because it's an amazing ship. Sure, the uh, Carnival Visso is just launched on May 1st, first sailing uh, out of uh, Trieste, Italy. She was on her 13-day inaugural cruise. She is our biggest, most innovative, most exciting new Carnival ship that we've ever built. Um, it's our first ship in three years, so uh, it was really exciting for us to get a new baby. Um, she's got a lot of great new features. Um, one of the things that uh, I think is really fantastic is the, uh, the sky ride. So one of the things about Vista, the name, is that we want to connect the guests to the ocean and the vistas that you get to see when you're at, you know, when you're at sea. And uh, this sky ride are these suspended bicycles uh, around the, the, the aft section of the ship that is just spectacular. I, uh, I was actually on board a few weeks ago, and I raced John Heald. And who do you think won? <laughs> I'm not betting on it. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> so really amazing. We also have the first ever IMAX theater at sea. Um, I was blown away by this. Um, it is just like being at an IMAX theater on land. The sound, the video is incredible. Uh, we've added uh, new cabin types. So we have, uh, we have the uh, new family harbor staterooms and suites. It's a section dedicated just for families. Um, you know, we carry over 700,000 kids every single year. And this section is perfect for families because not only do they get really cool um, uh, accommodations, specially designed, but we also have a special family har uh, harbor lounge uh, where the family gets uh, exclusive access. They get milk and cookies, there's games, there's videos, there's even a concierge. And when the parents take the kids with them to our specialty restaurants, they get to eat for free. Wow, great. Cool. I, I want to go. So tell me, uh, how important are travel agents to you to reach the consumer and, and just yeah. in your overall relationship with them? Well, I, I would say that they are extremely important. If, uh, if I think back to when I first started at Carnival many, many years ago, um, we would not be where we are today um, if it weren't for the support that we got from travel agents. And probably none of the suppliers would be here either because when we first started selling cruises, nobody knew about them. And it was the, the hard work, the, the faith that the travel agents had 
in the cruise business that really propelled us. And the reason that we are so big today, the reason Carnival Corp has 10 different brands today, has uh, 100 ships in its fleet, is because travel agents, they help us build this industry. And we thank you all for that. You all deserve a round of applause for that. Well said. So one of the strategies that Carnival has recent and, and build and building over the last few years is the home port strategy, I think with over 15 home ports now. Yeah. Why is that important to everyone here? Uh, when was the last time you were at an airport? <laughs> too, too, too Have you recent. all been at an airport recently? Well, 50%, uh, you know, Christine said this yesterday, 50% of, uh, of the population in the U.S. lives within a five-hour drive of our ships. Mm. You cut out not only the hassle of flying, of flying, but also the expense. Family of four, $250, $300 for an airline ticket, that's, that's huge savings. So it's all about the value and the convenience that it offers. That's great. All and right. We're dedicated to the, you know, to the North American market. So we've got more ships and more des uh, destinations out of the U.S. Good stuff. Favorite movie on sales and why? I was hoping that I'd talk long enough that I wouldn't have to answer that no, question. No, sorry. No. <laughs> well, what's not so great about being not close to last is that Jerry Maguire was already set, but that was my movie. Not so much about it being uh, sales, but it's about somebody really discovering their purpose, right? Mm discovering the purpose of what they wanted to do and realizing that what they were doing wasn't what they really wanted to do. And making that change, losing his job, and then becoming a really big success. Love it. Thank, Thank you, Adolfo. You. All right, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I think it is fun that Jerry Maguire has, has come up a couple of times. It's pretty extraordinary. I think two of the best sales techniques we can learn, we can learn came from that movie. One was, you had me at hello, right? And how important it is when we first make contact with a customer and how we can get them to love us and the services that you're gonna provide. And then of course, the best closing line of all time, show me the money, that's right, baby. All right, our next date is Mr. Alex Pinello, the Vice President of Key Accounts for Norwegian Cruise Line. Hey, buddy. Have a seat in the nicely warmed up chair. Very All right. Warm, very warm. Uh, yeah, yeah, I bet it warm. is. So, Alex, Norwegian Cruise Line has, probably has the most storied history in the cruise industry. And certainly recently, you have gone through a huge growth curve. So tell us about kind of why that's important to everybody here and what that means. Absolutely. Um, we, have, we have grown 50% between 2010 and today and wow. growing by another 40% between now and 2019 uh, with even more exciting growth post that. So, uh, you know, we, we wouldn't be here without the amazing support of the travel partners. Um, we are really, you know, in, you know in investing, you know, in, in, in their success. We're, we're investing in their, in, in their growth. And, and really, without the success, without their growth, we wouldn't be, we wouldn't be here. I mean, they, they really say, I love the saying, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. And, and we get to love what we do. Why? Because we get to work with amazing travel partners. Uh, and they, you know, again, they fill our ships every day. Uh, and we continue to, you know, build ships and add innovation to the industry. And, and, and again, the, the, the amazing partners continue to fill our products. So for that, we're, we're grateful. Excellent. You guys launched just recently a new marketing campaign, kind of focused around the word free. And how has that been going? And what's the overall message you're really trying to convey there? It's been going great, you know, really. And, and, and every time, you know, you, you, we really, we all need to do a better job marketing to, to, to fill our products and to sell versus price. If we, if we sell something based on price, if you win a customer based on price, you're going to lose them based on price. So you really have to, uh, you know, differentiate yourself. Offer, you know, take price out of the equation altogether. Offer the great value, the great service you provide on a daily basis. Uh, you know, differentiate yourselves from the competitors. Differentiate yourselves from the internet. Add that personal touch, and it's going to make a huge difference in your sales. And make price the last question you ask. Mm. New ships new marketing, but what's new with Partners First? What's new with your relationship with all of us? Well, again, as much change as we've been through, I mean, that's the one thing that has not changed <laughs> is, is really our commitment to our, to our partners. Partners First is here to stay. 
It's, it's the heartbeat of our, of our company. It's the center. Uh, we put our partners in the center of, the, in, you know, of everything that we do. Uh, and really, the, the, the next phase of Partners First is really, you know, as we continue to listen and take action, uh, we are really focusing you know, now on, on the ITP channel, the in, you know, independent travel professional or, or home-based agent or home-based prof travel professional. And it's really investing in you know, exclusive, you know, exclusive technology, exclusive communication, not a cookie cutter approach, dedicated resources, uh, exclusive events and seminars at sea uh, and, and, and visitations on the ships because we really want to work with each and every one of you. But the one thing we ask is because a lot of times we don't know who you are or where you're at. So we ask you to raise your hand. You know, let us know and we're going to work closely with you, with your hosts and really customize you know, an amazing program that's going to work and benefit each and every one of you. Excellent. All right, your turn. Favorite sales movie and why? Uh, okay, I'm going to say, uh, and it's, uh, it's going to be a little different. Uh, we, you know, we haven't heard it. The Pursuit of Happiness yeah. with Will Smith. Um, and, and the reason I'm, I'm picking that, uh, that movie is because you really have to, you have to believe in yourself. You know, and, and no matter how bad things get, you have to continue to believe in yourself, believe in what you do, and be the best. Be the best at what you do, no matter what that is. That is hopefully selling cruises. Love it. Thank you, brother. Thanks, you, Scott. Right, buddy. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so if you haven't seen these movies, I hope you're writing these down because I think they're all inspirational. That one certainly is. And next we have the amazing Dondra Ritzenthaler, Senior Vice President of Sales, Celebrity Cruises. Let her feel the love, come on. Hello, sweetie. So Dondra literally ran in here backstage coming off the airport and she said, I will be there, I will be there. And she was and here. here, so welcome, hon. My son, I want to apologize for missing last night. My son graduated from middle school and I couldn't miss it. So congratulations to Bill Smith and Rudy. Mm -hmm. So I had to say that. Yes, yeah, absolutely. So it's so good to be here, everybody. Thank you for coming. Getting out of middle school is tougher than getting out of high school. Middle school so tough. <laughs> it's a tough one. All right, so when you guys launched the, the Solstice class ships, it changed the industry. I mean, and it really put celebrity on the map and changed everything. But those ships are extraordinary. How are the other ships keeping up? Great question. So you might remember that about four or five years ago, we spent $40 million on each one of the Millennium class ships. And honestly, I think that was terrific. We just got through spending another eight. And I don't want to tell you every single thing we did because it was extraordinary because I've only got four minutes. So I'm going to tell you one thing that we did that is really cool. And that is we put on a rooftop terrace and we put these beautiful furniture up there and a screen. But we don't just do movies like everybody else. We do what we call taste of film. So what happens is there's a movie that's shown and it's about food and wine. And it pauses during the movie and the waiters and waitresses bring the food that correlates with the movie that's being shown. And people nice. love it, y'all. They love it. Nice. <laughs> All but right. I can tell you they can hold their own. Well, you've got a list of movies now can, you can show on I board. I know, right? So. So tell us about, uh, there's a little bit of an announcement happening around Galapagos. What's going yes, on? Yes, we're so excited. Um, as you guys know, we had the Celebrity Expedition down in the Galapagos. And just about three weeks ago, we announced that we have purchased two additional ships. And so now it's kind of like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. We have a small ship that actually has eight staterooms, a medium-sized ship that has 23 staterooms, and then now a large stateroom, which I, which I find very funny, that actually has a hundred guests or or 46 staterooms so we have the best and we now have the most down oh. in the Galapagos so make sure you book us because you make lots of money excellent all right so when we think about celebrity and and maybe our customers have been convinced it's the best way to go for them it's the right product for them but why should they think about going to a suite or moving up and from to an upgraded experience oh that's what easy who in this room would not like to upgrade to a better room that they have? Anybody? No. Um, in a cruise, guys, obviously, when you can upgrade, you get, you know, 
the better benefits, you get a better view, you get a better experience, you get private restaurants, it goes on and on. Mm -hmm. So I really beg each of you to always ask people to upgrade, and I know sometimes people get afraid to do that because they're afraid that it's gonna push the customer away. But you can always go down, yeah. but always ask for that upgrade, and that way, more times than not, you'll probably get it. That's it's really worth good it. Point. It is a good point. And value is such a, is such a term that is now used in the industry a lot. And, and it's so important to consumers that it's not just price, it's right. value. How are you guys delivering that message? Well, you know, we were blessed and we got lucky when we came out with one, two, three, go. I'd like to say that was very strategic, but to be honest with you, we just got darn lucky. <laughs> um, but that kind of did change the industry. It, it, went, it went away from just being price to be more value oriented, mm -hmm. which for y'all is a huge win because now all those things are built into the price of the cruise, which means the cruise price goes up and y'all get paid on those things. And I think that's terrific. But now we have to keep evolving because now we've almost kind of, that's almost become the same as the reduced price. Yeah. So now what we're doing at Celebrity Cruises is we literally have a campaign that says, you know, we make our own food from scratch. We have the best wine at sea. We have the best uh, people on board. Three reasons why the discount is not the best part of booking a Celebrity Cruise. So we really are trying to now get out of that. Excellent. All right, really quick, in the, in the last few seconds, favorite sales movie and why? Okay, so two people have already taken my movie. Oh, come on. We're going to give you All a right, second. The answer is, remember the Titans, because okay. that is a way that we can open up the world and not be um, um, fighting each other, but yet all be collaborative and be on the same page, because when you do that, you open up the world, and that way you can sell to more people, and I love it because it was about sports, and it was a great movie. Thank you, Yay. guys. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, sweetie. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. And our last date of the afternoon, certainly not least, Mr. Randall Soy, the Vice President of Sales and Marketing from Regent Seven Seas Cruises. Go on, buddy. How are you, my friend? I'm doing well. Have a sit. Have Great a sit. to be last. Oh. Ah, yes. All right, so Randall and I have both been kicking around this industry a very long time, and if we go back long enough, Did you Randall, just call me old? Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm, I am telling you that. But if you go back, all-inclusive was something that just became kind of an, a normal term we use for all cruises. But you guys have really changed that and set a new bar. How have you done that, and how has it worked? Well, thanks for bringing that up. And there are some terms that have been overused. And actually, Edie addressed that in her keynote as well. Luxury is one of those. And I mm -hmm. think her definition of in the eye of the beholder was a great one. But all-inclusive, yes, became somewhat commoditized. But for us at Region 7 Seas Cruises, we truly believe and enjoy it's all included. And the tipping point really was a few years ago where we added free and limited shore excursions. No one else has been able to copy that to our extent and it is truly part of the DNA of our brand now. And we continue to build on our all-inclusive messaging. Recently added free Wi-Fi. Very, very recently, we added free business class on all intercontinental flights, which is dramatic. For those customers, we found we're all upgrading, and so to include it in the price enables you to be able to sell more. And for those that want to do their own air, there's a substantial credit. But at the end of the day, it's about providing value to help you sell it more effectively, plus with more included in the fare, your earning opportunity is substantially more. Yes, Scott and I have been doing this a long time and one of the old lines, it's still applicable today. We like to provide commission checks with commas. <laughs> Love it. Usually get a laugh out of that one, but I understand it's late. <laughs> it's That's late in the nice. afternoon. Thank late you, Mom. Afternoon. So, it's a great message, but Sometimes it's hard to get that across to customers as to why to go to a product that is as all-inclusive as yours is. How, how should they present that? How do they position that? That's a great question. And we, I think, at the end of the day, begins with our sales team to help you understand how to articulate that most effectively to your customers. It's not a one-size-fits-all. But again, it comes back to listening to what's important to your customers. What are those keys that they've been telling you perhaps even subtly, that it's an opportunity for you to offer up an all-inclusive experience, preferably on Region 7 Seas Cruises. The little things about why they're taking that vacation experience. They're not coming into your office saying, I got $5,000, I want to spend it on this. They want to celebrate dreams. They want to celebrate special events. They want to build memories. You can help deliver that experience through, this, through our all-inclusive messaging. Excellent. So 
when we're talking about choices and the choices that all of these folks have as to brand, other than the fact that your commissions do have commas, what other reasons should they really focus on your brand? At the end of the day, Scott, I think it comes down to people. Who do you like doing business with? Mm -hmm. Who do you trust? Who's in your corner? Who's there in good times and not? I'm very, very lucky to be part of this organization now going on 26 years. At the end of the day, we're a small brand within a bigger organization, but the heart and soul is a family-run company. We believe in our employees, we believe in our partners, and we deliver that each and every day and advocate exceptionally hard. And I feel we've got one of the greatest sales team in the business. I'm fortunate to be able to work with the Norwegian and Oceana guys, and we learn a lot together. But at the end of the day, the people in your offices or on the phone are second to none. We encourage you to develop those relationships with Regent. All right, here's the million yeah, dollar man. question. This is you were the last, last and this is hard to be last to come up with this answer now, last guy. Favorite sales movie and why? Wow, because I gotta say, and I give my colleagues here a lot of credit, there were some great answers. I'm gonna go back to an old standard. Glen Gary, Glen Roth, all right? And not only are there some of the finest acting portrayals, if you will, in that particular movie, it's an amazing cast. But there's a great message there, which is always be closing. And I think that is the epitome of a great sales movie. Thank you very much. Thank you, my brother. Well done. Well done. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, can we hear it for all of the dates that we went through and did a speed dating with today? Was that fun? Well, I hope you did get a lot of information and learned a lot. I hope you also got some movies you're gonna go home and watch to, to get inspired and to learn about sales. I think there was some great stories that are shared there. My favorite happens to be The Music Man. If you get a chance to watch that from a sales perspective, I think you'll be amazed at the wonderful skills that he uses, even though he's a con man, but eventually he makes the right sale. He really does. Watch the movie, you're gonna learn a lot, it's great. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I wanna thank you for the time. Have a wonderful afternoon.